Warning, this video may contain foul language and mech on mech mayhem. Viewer discretion is advised. We're in the Hunchback to see I'm going clan today. Man, this is an amazing mech. This is actually probably my favorite variant just because you can put two of the heaviest ballistics in there that you want. This is the regular Hunchback 2C variant. Now, if you look down in the corner, uh, it says Hunchback 2C O variant. It's the uh, what, Oxide? It's a special variant that came with one of the clan packs, like back when this thing first came out. That's why it has this special uh, paint scheme, which is actually my favorite paint scheme for the Hunchback 2C. I'm glad I got this. Uh, seriously, just two LB 20s. I would not want to run the UAC 20s, not at all. I feel like if you double tap dual UAC 20s, you're gonna overheat your mech immediately. This will heat up, but it's not uh, ridiculous like UAC 20s. And then I just have an ER medium laser. I don't even need that, but I wanted one laser at least. It's not really going to do much, but... Um, and this isn't a super long range build either, so you're going to kind of have to be, you know, mid range, close range with this to really do a lot of damage. But what this is, is an amazing cleanup mech. I'm serious. You come in, targeting uh, enemy mechs that are, uh, you know, beat up a little bit, and you just fo focus on their uh, hurt spots, fire both LB-20s, you're blowing off whatever was there. Now that's a problem. I, got, I, I don't want to be stuck out in the open like this, so... I'll be careful. It's a hot emoto. Chi on the other side. Watch F6, watch her, watch her asses. Bam! That, that had to hurt, man. Alright, we're going in.
Alright, let's turn around here. Try to conserve our shots. I was kind of going willy nilly with that. Deadly blast right there. Shadow Hawk C2 is pretty jacked. Oh, I lost one of my LB20s. That sucks. G6. Fuzzy Nova here, and we are playing Mech Warrior Online. Today, I'm bringing out an oldie, a real oldie here. This is from the uh, early days of MWO when they started uh, putting out new mechs and mech packs and stuff. And this was from the Origins um, 2C uh, pack. This is a special um, Origins variant. They, they, they uh, have four different packages. You can get the one that has the Jenner, uh, the one that has this, and it also comes with two other Hunchback 2Cs. You can get the Orion 2C, and they all come with this pattern right here. This is like the Origin 2C pattern, the yellow and the... So it's a special pattern, 
and the mechs come with like a sea build boost um, and other cool stuff. I think there's the Highlander 2C that has this pattern. Let's take off the UAC 20s. I mean, two UAC 20s is insanely dangerous, but it's just way too hot. You double tap once, and your mech's gonna like implode from the inside and melt. Um, no, but take those off, and uh, today's build is super build is super simple. All right, so simple 50 tonner hunchback 2c is a 50 tonner for those of you that don't know the hunchback 2c is a clan version of the inner sphere hunchback uh, but this variant comes with four ballistic and two energy hard points and i'm going to put on two lb20s now you do have two energy hard points in your ct which means that you really can't bring um you really can't go heavy on the lasers there uh, but yeah the only other issue is uh ammo you're gonna want to bring enough ammo if you're using two LB20s, and there's only so many tons you're gonna have left. Now, if you want to sacrifice, you know, a couple tons on your engine and go slower, you can always skill up your mobility. And this is what I do a lot of the times when it comes down to, like, I really need a few extra tons. How am I gonna do this? I downgrade my engine and I go to mobility and get speed tweak at the bottom. And I actually focused on survival this time. Um, and actually, it it does help. I remember this mech felt really, really fragile for a long time. And I remember after I did this, like, it really, really does help. Um, but this is just the base of the build. You're going to see two LB20s, that's it. Or you're going to see two LB20s and an ER medium, or two LB20s, heavy medium. Or if you really want to save some space, you can, all, you can always do this. This is the easy way. An LB20 and an LB10. That's going to give you quite a bit of tons to, to work with. And you could do two ER mediums, two large, or two medium pulse. You could do a heavy medium laser, ER large laser, whatever you want. Conservative shots. This is a cleanup mech. We call it the janitor. There is nothing worse than coming coming in, uh, across one of these mechs, especially if, if it's coming against you. If you're going against this mech and you've, you're hurt, say goodbye to whatever part of your mech is hurt. <laughs>close range 414 meters so 800 meters max we have the good side to start on, so. but we want to be within the 400 meter range so this is a cleanup mech this is the janitor mech right on the c3 breach area c3 to c4 with the line um and i should have put a lower engine in it to save a, a ton or two because ammo wise you gotta kind of conserve it now you could definitely use two lb10s or even an lb10 and an lb20 would actually save me some tonnage, and that is something that I might end up doing. But this is still a lot of fun. You just gotta make your shots count. You gotta make them count. But this is not something you want to run into, no matter if you're an assault or a light. Especially if you're hurt.
He's shut down. Still got yeah, the Corsair. Three shots left, fuck! Ow! One shot left, uh! Alright, at least I legged him. And this is why you might need your lasers. In case you do run out. Bravo. He's almost down. Good enough, we ran out of ammo right at the right time, so I'm thinking another half ton or a ton of ammo would be good for a match, because I I ran out there right at the end. And uh, we pulled 724. Easy, easy. Easy damage. Um, might put the laser back on. I don't know. We'll see. But we got a killing blow. We got a kill assist. 1k MDD. 
724. I mean, we're just blasting people with that. Those dual LB20s into it's so much fun. But to gain some more tonnage, it wouldn't be a bad idea to go with an LB20 and LB10. Um, definitely more ammo, and then you could throw on a couple medium pulse, medium lasers, or ERs. But yeah, awesome. Yeah. Did uh, the most damage in the whole match, so not bad, 724. Not bad at all. Hunchback 2C time. Two LB20s. We are in the Origins 2C, Hunchback 2C here. of LBX 20 cannons. This build, I mean, it's, this build can do a lot of damage if you can serve your ammo and if, if, <laughs> you can get into that whole brawl range and just really let them loose. Otherwise, I mean, you'll, you'll be pulling a good amount of damage, but this thing can really do a lot if, if. But it's a great support mech, especially for cleaning up. Or just supporting your uh, heavies and assaults. This is like the only medium that can hold this amount of ballistics. There was no other medium that can do this. UAV. Ow, that had to hurt. We just jacked that ballistic up. Alright, hold the top here, hold the top. They're coming around the other side, you know they are. There is a sniper in E3 with ER large lasers. Alright, I'm backing up, because these guys... Seriously? Why does it always happen to me?
right. That fucker went down. Eleven shots, here we go. Oh! This guy was kind of healthy, wasn't he? is fragile. Fucking Timberwolf, man. Summon it. No, we're losing. Watch out for that Timby. Dead dude. You're dead. He's too fresh. Tell me how he can't kill this guy. Wow. Oh, all he has is a light PPC. Close. Fell there at the end. Boy, uh, 683 to 2 KMBDs. A solo. We got two killing blows. 683 is not bad. Uh, we could have done more. We were gonna get up in the 700 if we would have just shot, got one more shot off of that punch or that timber wolf. That's what I wanted. That timber wolf, yeah, pull on 1237. That guy was a danger, man. He's fucking pinpointing everybody. But a great medium Mac, just a great, really awesome.